We have all seen the self-improvement videos on YouTube. The ones that tells us to improve this, improve that. They tell us to read these specific books and how we can glow up before school starts. They want us to make more and more improvements in order to become the best versions of ourselves. Well, it makes sense, right? More and more layers with improvements should result in an even better person. Or, imagine a cake with a terrible tasting base layer. No matter how many delicious layers you add on top, the cake as a whole still won't taste good. The same idea applies to people. If someone has deep-rooted problems, simply making surface-level changes, which in this case is by improving ourselves, won't help. That's why self-destruction is necessary, to break down those issues before real improvement can happen. Before doing any building, you have to destroy yourself. You can't build something on a shaky foundation. Trying to self-improve will not remove your problems. That's exactly why we need to do self-destruction before constructing. Self-destruction will help us reach our goals faster and help us reach the best version of ourselves. But what does self-destruction mean? Well, we are not talking about blowing us up. Self-destruction in this case means to obliterate the looser identity that keeps holding us back. You know the voice in your head. The one that whispers, you're lazy. You don't work hard enough. You shouldn't eat that much or you are weak. Those doubts and thought are some annoying boogers. They sabotage us before we have ever had the opportunity to try something new. Self-destruction is about destroying that voice, brick by brick. Self-destruction is seen as the method to achieve our most optimal self and is crucial to become our best version. Self-improvement on the other hand is about improving our current qualities and strengths to achieve our goals. I want you to think of humans like trees. We have leaves and branches which is our daily habits and attitudes. However, half of our roofs are healthy, while the other half is infected. The infected part of the roots infects some of the leaves. Self-improvement is about polishing and cutting of the infected leaves. However, this is a waste of time as the infected roots keep springing up unhealthy leaves. Self-destruction is about destroying the unhealthy roots of the tree to stop spreading more unhealthy leaves. We all have some insecurities and anxieties talking to a pretty girl. Terrifying. Raising my hand in class. Sounds like a disaster. The only way to get rid of these fears and anxieties is to confront them. Ask yourself what am I most afraid of doing and then just do it. By confronting your fears you are able to build new skills, but you are also dismantling your fearful identity. Self-destruction creates space for genuine growth. It's about feeling good, not just getting good. By repeatedly confronting your fears, you begin to chip away at limiting beliefs. You'll realize that, for instance, raising your hand in class isn't as daunting as it once seemed. These small victories build confidence and self-esteem. While self-improvement is crucial, it's important to remember that before diving into reading books or focusing on your summer glow-up, you need to take time for self-destruction. Face all your fears and dismantle your negative self-image. Imagine grabbing a hammer and demolishing the voice inside that holds you back. Just like there is good and evil, day and night, winter and summer, there cannot be self-improvement without self-destruction. Go out there, trust yourself and don't waste your potential.